two-time national figure skating champion Gracie Gold, who is opening up about her reasons for leaving the sport she loved, only to then again return to the ice in a tell-all memoir out today. An out-of-shape, worthless loser, the author and Olympic skater lays bare her struggle with mental illness, eating disorders, and the self-destructive voice in her head. And Gracie Gold joins us now in studio. Thank you so much for coming on. No, thanks for having me. So, okay. You were U.S. national champion 2014, 2016. How does that then square with the title, Out of Shape, Worthless Loser? I mean, so after the 2014 Olympics, um, 2016 nationals went really well. And then I pretty much bombed at the 2016 Worlds in Boston, which kind of set off a series of events that led me into a treatment facility having a mental health crisis. And the book, when you read it, is split into four parts. So part one is Grace Elizabeth, my childhood. Part two, the Gracie Gold, the, yes, Olympian national champion. And then part three is um, the mental health crisis and, you know, that voice in your head that tells you you are an out of shape, worthless loser. Um, I just happened to name mine. And part four is me reconciling all three parts of me. And how did you ultimately reconcile that? It's been a process. You know, I wish I just had a single sound bite for you. Um, it's been a process, but understanding that that voice in my head does exist, but it doesn't have to do harm and that I still have my inner child and that a lot of the you know, Gracie Gold's uh, Ice Princess was not always authentic, but that yeah. she was still a part of me. Um, so far, the reconciling's going well, though. And, and you write, every U.S. figure skating national team member should be handed a single space sheet listing the side effects that they can expect to experience in their ascent. Eating disorders, depression, anxiety, suicidal ideation. Why do you think that this is so prevalent within the world of ice skating? I think figure skating is a really hard sport. I think, I mean, psychologically, right, we're supposed to do the hardest things possible while making them look effortless. And it actually doesn't matter how we think that we did, right, because we're judged by a panel of nine right. strangers and, you know, a technical specialist, there's a referee. Um, and I don't think that they have to be as prevalent as they were in my life. But, you know, I was telling my story. That's kind of the side effect sheet that I wish I was handed. Did you start seeing skating as, as the enemy, so to speak? Yeah, my relationship with skating has been difficult, <laughs> strained, tumultuous at times. But I had to realize that it wasn't really the act, right, the sport of skating. It gave me so many gifts, and it brought me all around the world. It brought me to the Olympics. But it was really how I coped with all of that stress and that intensity, how I coped poorly with it, and some other things in my life. So, you know, I would say it's not it's not really a skating book. Mm -hmm. It's an everything around skating book. And I think there are going to be a lot of different pieces that can resonate with a lot of people. And, and let's just take a little bit of a deeper dive into that, because some people are going to say on its face, oh, this is about ice skating. I don't ice skate. So how would this apply to me? I mean, first off, everyone loves ice skating. <laughs> <laughs> Secondly, um, it's about being an athlete. It's about being a woman. It's about having a difficult relationship with your parents. It's about being a perfectionist. Um, and, you know, it's just about the difficulties in trying to be the best at something and mm -hmm. sometimes just what it's like to fail and to fail hard while millions of people are watching. And, yeah, it's, it's about, it's not a fluffy sports memoir. You know, it's no Ice Princess or cutting edge kind of story. Um, you know, it's just a memoir about growing up and growing up in an unusual environment with difficult people around you and, you know, going to the Olympics. Uh, you don't have to be a skater I think, to hopefully like the book. But you certainly don't have to be a figure skater or know about the sport to understand the book. Why did you decide to return to the sport? Um, it's a great question, I guess, because I took some time away from it and I missed it. Mm. I missed the parts of skating that I loved, which was the actual act of skating. I think it was some stuff in the culture and the people that were around me at various times that kind of sent me <laughs> off the rails a bit, but that I've always loved to skate. Um, you know, people ask me if you had to do it over again. I definitely would do some things different, mm -hmm. but I think I would always pick skating. Well, we thank you so much for just your, your brutal authenticity and honesty within the pages of this book. Thank you so much for, for sharing your life for everybody to see. And we want to let our viewers know Out of Shape, Worthless Loser is now available wherever books are sold.
Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.